<laughs> Jumped the gun, didn't I? Let me uh, pull this out. Thank you. Um, thank you to the UT alumni. Thank you for this distinguished honor. I am honored to be up here for a lot of reasons, and uh, some of them I'm going to talk about here shortly. It was um, 1988. Two weeks out of high school, Longview High School, I decide I'm going to go to Australia for a year as an exchange student, because like most kids at 18, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I head off to Australia. I'm there for about eight, nine months. I'm about to return in a few months, and it's time to come back and go to college. Well, the idea was that I was pretty sure I wanted to be a lawyer. Um, I talked to my family about it. We were pretty sure that I could win most of the arguments, and <laughs> family was in the oil business, and I was going to at least defend them, and then who knows who else. So I'm going to come back, and I'm going to be a lawyer. So it's where do I go to school? 18 years old in Australia, I'm doing my research, and I've decided that I want to go to Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> I was sure about it. Why? I thought, I said, you know what, because it's a larger city than Austin. It's got larger corporations. I'll be able to get a job in the summers, uh, in between my school years, uh, interning, and by the time I get out, I'll have a, uh, an inside track on getting a job. I was really sure about it. Well, my dad calls one night, and he says, so you, uh, you want to be a Mustang, huh? I was like, yes, sir, and I told him those reasons. He was like, well, what about hook them horns, buddy? And I was like, no, sir, no, sir, I want to, I want to be a Mustang. That's how Dad talked, right? He was like, okay, okay. He called one more time. I said the same thing, and he was like, okay, okay, okay. About a week later, I get a call from my brother Pat, who's here, <laughs> and he goes, hey, buddy, Dad's not going to tell you this because he's too proud. He goes, but... It's going to cost him 16000 to send you to SMU, and he can send you to Texas for six, and he's almost bankrupt. The oil business has gone to pot, and it'd really help him out. And I was like, oh, and then he tells me, he goes, and plus, have you ever been to Austin, Texas? And I said, no. And he goes, it is right up your alley. Go in that place with your flip-flops and your T-shirt. You go into a bar. You're going to be sitting between an Indian, a cowboy, and a lesbian. You'll be fine. <laughs> so... I call, I call my dad back, and I said, Dad, I've changed my mind. I want to go be a Longhorn. He's like, oh, gosh, dog buddy, that's great. Hook them horns, man, hook them horns. That's what I'm talking about. So for that, I am happy that the oil business went to pot <laughs> because my dad was able to afford sending me here, which were four great years of my life. Um, you know, what, what, what do you get when you come here? I tell people in general terms when I'm talking to, uh, to people. You're going to come here, you're going to get access to a great education. You're also going to get a real good life lesson in what it means to compete. And I don't mean on the field. I mean for what classes you want, for what teachers you want across the board. It is a place where you have to get out and engage and take care of yourself. And when you're just coming out of high school, that's what every, every kid, young man, young woman needs when they get out. You've got to learn to compete. So it's a real good precursor to what happens once you get out of school and into real life and on your own. Um, what else did I get here? Well, I, I look around at my life. I'm 44 now. I was 18 back then in 1988. And I came to school here. I went to the Delta Tall Delta Fraternity. And it's there that I met most of the best friends that I still have in my life. Most of them are here tonight. Uh, that's why I invited you guys. And if we'd have been somewhere else in Austin, we'd probably be together there too. But I met my longest and best friends that I have and still have in my life right here. Um, the ones that are not here tonight that I met here are actually working in California because we work together and they've got a job right now and I don't. Um, <laughs> that's probably, it, to, to my heart's heart, my, my, the, the, the most favorite thing, what I'm most proud about getting here is the friendships that I got. Um, I'd also uh, like to say, you know, I've got three children now and um, I would be honored if they so choose or so choose when they're 18 years old, whether they're in Australia and want to be an exchange student or wherever they want to go to school, I would be very honored if they chose to come to this university. So with that, I say, hook them horns. Thank you very much. Thank you, PAT. All right. <laughs>